Those are gorgeous. Those They're purses. Gorgeous. They were cigar boxes. Yeah. I'm going to show you how you can so transform them. Time. But Kate's got to leave, so we're going to say goodbye to her before we get in our conversation. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Billy girls. Yay. I, I, Me too. Thank no you. one leaves her empty handed, so I'd like to present you this <laughs> Swarovski crystal <laughs> that I found. It's, it's rare. rare. It's rare. It's rare. Close it. Keep Thank that in there. So Don't much. tell Jane. Okay, I'm going to walk you out. Make sure. See, this security, I'm acting security. You never know what this is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's so great to have her back again. All right, we are back with you. These are wonderful. Thank you so much. Explain your DIY style. Well, I call it retro fabulous. So it's a little bit vintage, a little bit modern, a little eclectic funky. I'm inspired by everything in the world, so I'm kind of ADD in that Write way. That but eclectic funky. Eclectic funky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it a hashtag now? Can no, I guess. It? Yeah, let's make it one. We right can make now. it a hashtag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hashtag exactly. eclectic funky. So look, everybody got here by sending in a video, yes. and we saw yours amongst that pile that came yep. in, and we went, "We got to have her here." Yep. So this is what we saw. Hello, gorgeous. It's Madge. Are you looking for a DIY dry-in who can bring you change you can bedazzle and hope of a brighter glitter glue? Well, friends, look no further because here she is. I'm asking you to join a revolution that's all about celebrating creativity, teaching people to create without filters, inspiring them to color outside of the lines. And I have a true passion for all things DIY. You are feeling very crafty. I'm all about making it fun and easy to make it fabulous. From baking to decorating to jewelry making to home decor, I love it all. So what could be more fun than spending the week with home and family Mark and Christina and sharing my love of all things DIY? <laughs> that was fantastic. Stuck out. There was entertaining. So we took yeah. words there yeah. and put it together. Yeah, I'm, I, illusions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're yeah. retro fabulous. Well, I try. Yeah, <laughs> you do. And Not you, all the time, but I try. So you take these cigar boxes yeah. and you turn them into retro fabulous. I'm going to call it retro fabulous. It's okay, I like that. That works for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's um, they're conversation starters. That's what I love about them. I started sure. making these for myself as kind of collage purses with images. Mm -hmm. And when you guys wanted me to do this project, I thought I need to elevate this and make it accessible for everyone. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a tablecloth yeah. from Target. Well, this is how you yeah. were uh, earlier this morning because I saw you in here busy as kids. Yeah, busy. <laughs> So, we start with our little box, and you can get these boxes at the craft store or use an actual cigar box. I marked the handles on the hand on the little bamboo handle just so I could plan the placement of the drill holes for the screws. So you just drill the holes, and then take off all the hardware, and get yourself a little baggie to put all those tiny little screws in, so you don't oh, have any loose know. screws. Oh, that's, so that's not a good thing when no. that happens. Yeah, so we take all that off, and then if you want, you can do a light sand. Mm -hmm. Or you can just go ahead and paint. And I'm painting the interior and the edges. Leave the front and the back plain. Do you have to because, make it match your hair? Uh, yes, you so, do. You, it's okay. required. Of course okay. she does. That's pink melon. It's a fabulous folk art color. And then we use a little matte Mod Podge to seal everything. Oh. And let that dry. And then we put it all back together. And I'm just using regular household screws. Mm -hmm. And then put the little handle back where you've marked in place and just get your drill out and drill that together and then take out those teeny tiny little screws oh which is glasses. super fun <laughs> and get your glasses so i have them on and put it all back together and then once we're done with that we're going to put the icing on the cake uh -huh. so i pre-cut my fabric and then i put an even application of the mod podge and then you're just going to smooth it down but the the trick is to use a brayer and that what is takes, a brayer. What so is a brayer is like a little roller, uh -huh. like a squeegee kind of thing. Oh, that, um, okay. Takes out all the bubbles so you don't get like the bumps and bubbles in your decoupage. Like a little mm -hmm. spongy thing? Yeah. Well, uh -huh. there's one right there. Uh -huh. It's right over yeah, there. Like we'll show roller. it to you. Yeah. All right. yeah. And then we add a little trim, and that's just a gimp braid that we hot glue on. And that hot glue gun comes with different tips. And the one is really tiny, so you can get really precision application. Beautiful. And that's it. Oh. Wow. That yeah. is great. Really cool. But now we are going to bling it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can't let any surface go unsparkled, right? I, I, so and I know I'm your totally feelings about glitter. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So this is glitter sophisticated older sister. Okay. Swarovski crystals. crystals. Yes. So we're going to apply, and I kind of just a little judicious smattering, right? Not yeah. covering the whole, whole thing. Right. Right. Yeah. Just a little touch. So we're using E6000, and we just pick a spot, and you just want to leave a little puddle of glue here. So okay. squeeze it out like that, where you're going to put your crystals. Mm -hmm. And then I'm using this really cool tool, and this is called the Crystal Katana. And a friend of mine who has actually crystallized elevators 
and entire cars. Really? So she, Vanna's tools yeah, as well, right? the Crystal yeah. Ninja. This is her tool, and she's picked With up these a, little things. Yes, yes, oh, dear yeah. She has patience. So I'm not. Is it a turtle? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Oh, she okay. should I'm be sorry. though. Oh, okay. She should be. be so girl. this has a, a, a is a faux wax, and you use it to pick up and place the, the crystals. The tip of it is. The tip so, is. Yeah, on the tip. So I'm just going to grab a crystal just like that, oh. press it down, and then I'm going to come over here. Just like that, and, and place it, it, and you pick it oh, right up. How easy is it? So I want you don't have to push it down. No, so once you're done, you can go back and kind of use this to press everything press. in. Do you guys want to try? Sure. I, I have extra try. little. Here, let's move yeah. this over here and give you. Right. If you don't have this, could you? So if you don't have that, you can use a crayon, or you could uh, use tweezers. This just makes it so oh, much quicker and easier. Oh. Yeah, it's a real pain in the patootle. Uh, a question. Yeah, yeah. Could you? I, when I was watching this, the fabric. There's some beautiful fabrics. Could you use that sort of heavy-duty paper wrapping paper? You yes, get? absolutely. A, just I, seal it. Yeah. You could use any kind of paper, whatever you want to decoupage with. I just. This is an outdoor fabric, but if you're doing paper, I would seal it with a. You know, like a. Uh, spray sealer. So minus the cost of the Cuban cigars yes. that are in there. What, what, would you, what would one spend on these? Twenty-five dollars, and I've seen them similar purses online for about forty to seventy dollars. So it's a good, fun, ex affordable DIY. I think I've lost her. Oh my I, I know she's. For the rest it of the is show. Very, she's very, very very zen. zen. She it's, does it this because she also does the coloring thing in the books. Yes. You know, oh you yeah. Do that, zen and the artist. Yes. Yeah. 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 